Taylor, well, welcome to Southampton. You've Thank arrived you. on a season-long loan. How does it feel to, to be here now? No, yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, spoke to the manager, obviously spoke to Jason as well, and obviously met a few of the lads today. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. I can't wait to get going. Your name was linked with a number of clubs this summer, but what was it about Southampton that really stood out to you and made you want to come here? I think the the willingness from from their side to get me in the door, and as I spoke to the manager and obviously Jason, I think it was it, it, it was straight after then that I knew I knew that I felt the warmth from the manager, and uh, he explained to me exactly what what he wants to do and the ambitions of the club, and that suited exactly where I am in my career and where I want to be going forward, and um, I can hopefully do it under. Under, under the manager here. What were those conversations like with Russell Martin? Just obviously catching up on the, obviously played against his teams in the, when he was at Swansea and just about the, the ambitions he's got, a few, touching on the little styles of play that what he wants to, to put into the team and for me I think it's, it's suited me down, down to the ground and it's how I want to play football and um, I'm hoping I can repay him this season. You mentioned there playing against his, his Swansea team. What was it like being on the opposition with his style of play? Really difficult, really difficult, especially when we had the ball uh, at Burnley. Um, the pressing that, that Swansea, Swansea did was hard to get through. And um, obviously when they had the ball, you know, you know where he likes to play and they, they can cut you open if, you, if your pressing isn't right. And that's, that's what I enjoy doing, but I also enjoy the defensive side. So I'm hoping to, to put that into place as well. Tell us about last season, obviously with Burnley a, a title winner and then backing that up as well as captain with England and, and winning Euro 2023, those experiences must have been incredible. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a kind of a season and a summer to remember really, um, obviously just pure enjoyment and a lot of hard work, obviously I know this league and I know what it takes and people say we like ran away with it and we did it with ease but it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, we had to grind out some days and uh, you have to be on it 24-7 and uh, that's what I'm willing to do coming here. Having that taste of those celebrations and, and those moments, how much hunger does that give you coming here now? Yeah, once you've had it once, you, you want it again. I want nothing more than to, to, to get Southampton back to where they belong in the Premier League So and that, that's where my ambitions are as a player as well. So, yeah, I, I want no, nothing less than that. You're still really young, but you, you come here with so much senior experience already, especially in the Championship. Has the manager outlined what he expects from you and, and what your role here is going to be? Yeah, he just obviously mentioned, I lived it last season, obviously Burnley being promoted and, and winning the title, but I, I said to the manager, obviously I'm, I'm experiencing at this level, but I've still got loads to improve. I'm a 21-year-old centre-half, I'm, I'm still so young and I'm, I'm willing to improve and I, hopefully he knows that, that I'll, I'll obviously listen to him and listen to the staff and I think I can improve massively as well. So we've had an unbeaten start to the season so far in the league. Have you, you had much opportunity to, to watch Saints at all yet? Yeah, obviously the ones on the telly. I watched um, Chef Wednesday and Plymouth. And I was obviously really impressed with, obviously, the first game of the season. It was the start of the, start of the season in the EFL. And no, I was very impressed with, the, with, obviously, how they played and stuff. And I was thinking to myself, I could see myself playing in that team 100%. And obviously the Plymouth was obviously a different type of win. Obviously last minute and uh, away from home, it's tough. And obviously they showed that the, the team has that side to him as well and hopefully I can, can help that as well. When you know a, a move's on the cards like that and, and you're watching the team play, is it quite easy to, to look and see how you're going to fit into that system and I guess how, how big an impact does that have? Yeah, yeah. Obviously when I knew it was on the cards I always remember the games I watched and uh, what I thought of the games and how I feel I can improve the team and how I feel like the team can improve me because, uh, as I said before, I've still got a lot to improve on and, and I know there's going to be players here that are going to help me improve and, uh, and, and be a better footballer. Obviously, you're coming from Manchester City. There's probably a few familiar faces for you in this dressing room already. Did you have much chance to, to speak to those guys before coming here? No, I obviously spoke to Sam Adozi today, seen him today and Juan. Uh, I, I spoke to him a little bit because I was with him a little bit at City. Um, I spoke to Nathan Tallow a lot. Obviously, he was, he was great for us last season at Burnley. He, I, I love him to bits, so I was obviously getting some good advice off him and he had nothing but good words to say about the football club and uh, was, was telling me to come straight away. And the last one, I guess a, an easy one for you to answer, but what are your targets and what are your hopes for this season? I think the same as everyone's is obviously to get, to get Southampton back to the Premier League. That's uh, the feel I get around, around the club. Um, I won't be here otherwise because that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to, I want to win. I've obviously had a taste of that in summer, but um, aspirations to become a better footballer as well. I, can, I feel like I can do that along the way and learn 
learn different styles and different ways to play football. And uh, I feel like the manager and the staff here and the team can really help me do that.